Hi, my name is Kim. Today we're at the San Francisco Zoo. I'm a San Francisco native and I've been coming to the zoo my whole life and my whole adult life I've been a member. And I love the zoo. I come here three times a week to visit my friends, the animal friends. And um, I'm here to tell a story about what's happened recently. Um, I received a check in the mail for refunding my membership fees. Um, with that check there was nothing else. There was no letter of reason, no explanation. Uh, when I showed up at the zoo today, I asked membership for a reason and the person in membership deferred me to marketing and could not give me a reason other than to say that I had violated the terms and policies um, of which the terms and policies are not given to you along with your membership. They're not posted anywhere within the membership office or other areas in the zoo. So I really don't know what the story is. Um, we're standing here at the Bear Grottoes right now for a reason. And the uh, reason is because I have a feeling that what the problem is is regarding an incident that happened on Saturday, February 5th. Before I get into the story, I'm going to read to you the sign that's right next to me that says, Respect the Animals. So it states, Respect the Animals. The magnificent animals in the zoo are wild and possess all their natural instincts. You are a guest in their home. Please do not tap on the glass, cross barriers, throw anything into exhibits, make excessive noise, keys, or call out to them. It goes on to say, please call 415-753-7069. Or notify an employee immediately to report misbehavior. On Saturday, February 5th, my friend Lee and I were at the Bear Grottoes. And while we were here, we witnessed a lot of unruliness as the crowd was very big that day and there was no security presence. So my friend Lee, after seeing a visitor hop over the barrier at the polar bears, he was coming back from the animal side of the barrier into the visitor side. So since there was no security presence along with all the other unruliness we saw, she made a phone call to the emergency line that's listed right here on this sign and she ex was in the process of explaining what she had witnessed and the person who answered that phone hung up midway through. Moments later, Keepers started running here, security started running to the area, sirens started going off, there was an all-out code red call, and sorry, keep going, I'm <laughs> sorry, I got sidetracked, um, anyway, there was an all-out code red that was called, and we were horrified that um, this is how the call was dispatched. And um, we left the area, as that was what was being instructed to do by security, and we went back to the lion house in which we talked to another security person, and they said that there had been a third call in addition to ours, so ours was a second call. There had been a third call reporting three people over a barrier at Bears. So there had been a call in addition to ours um, about unruliness and misbehavior. So after that, we... Still, we're feeling very shaken about the whole situation and um, and being in the middle, sort of, of it all going on. Um, that I decided to return here on Monday and uh, talk to more people and um, say exactly what happened um, with the call that we made. In that, it might have been dispatched improperly because she was Lee was hung up on. So I did that, and I was told in no uncertain terms by the operations manager that um, there was a third call, that we indeed reported the, um, what we had witnessed um, appropriately, and that they had identified that there is a problem with how the calls are being dispatched, and that they were going to work on training the people who answer the phone better. And she thanked me for always being here and um, keeping an eye on what's going on and reporting any misbehaviors that I see. So, along with um, my cancellation of my membership, my friend Lee's has also been, been canceled, and um, we can only assume that because of the chain of events and the timeline that, and the email that Lee got, 
from the director of the zoo blaming her for the code red, point blank saying that she put staff and animals in danger because of her phone call. We are assuming until further notice, which we will also note in a video to uh, make sure that all the facts are straight, that that we are being blamed for this, we have been branded, we have been slandered, and that, I mean, if this is the case, well, it is the case, and Lee has been slandered um, by blaming her for this situation, and, hold on, Johnny's going by with the train. I'm just trying to report the facts and let everybody know what actually goes on when you are a member in good standing and you love the animals and you do exactly what they ask you to do by reporting um, misconduct toward the animals and misconduct and behavior among visitors. Um, what it results in is having your membership revoked and you having to buy a ticket at the gate three times a week to come to the zoo so that you can visit the animals that you love.